Speaking of spotlights, I think we both can agree that we've got a spotlight comic for this particular week. So without further mm -hmm. ado, let's jump into our first segment of the Heroes World Comic Spotlight. This week, we are spotlighting the me you love in the dark. This is an amazing comic. We're on issue number three, and it's brought to you by Scotty Young with amazing art by George Corona. Now, I got to say, Scotty Young, you should probably know him as the artist, but he has been writing some absolutely amazing books. He's yes. done Strange Academy. That's Doctor Strange leading the new generation of magic users in the Marvel Universe. He's also did a really cool limited series for Image Comics as well. It was called Middle West. And that, again, kind of fantasy-based. Did the hilarious parody, I Hate Fairyland. Really, really cool book. And now we've got this. So it is really, really cool. Uh, I'm really loving it. But the feeling of this book, it's got this really dark undertone. And I really don't know where this book is going, but I can't put it down. How does this uh, book make you feel, Jess? Oh, I love it. And I love reading it in the dark, if that sounds corny or not. But it, <laughs> it, it, it looks beautiful. We have an image here, don't we? Yeah, look like, at this. Just, just look at that. It looks amazing. I, his art, there's something about it which is really appealing to me. I just love the way he draws his characters. I love the way he draws his backgrounds and everything. Like, it's... It's beautiful. And the story, I, I, we were talking about it a day or two ago. We both have no idea where it's going. It, it is compelling me. It, it makes me want to pick it up and read the next issue right away. Right on. It definitely yeah. has that. So right here, we've got uh, uh, the main character that we see. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of background about the book so far. But I don't want to give away too many spoilers we are going to dive deep into why we like it but we're going to try and keep it you know spoiler free but we have this character and she is a very successful and popular artist she's a painter and she needs to recharge her creative energy uh she's got i guess you know when you got art artistic block and she goes to a small town and she wants to rent a place and she chooses what might be a haunted house nobody knows if it's haunted or not but it's this big kind of dark old looking house but it's got character and everything and so she decides this is where she's going to hopefully be inspired to create more and that first picture that we showed you you know after a couple of days she might have heard a voice in her head and you can kind of see this, I don't know if we want to call it being, monster, ghost. Spirit, who, who knows? Spirit. Really? We have no idea because the only characters that we have in the book are we have her, we have her agent who calls her on the phone, mm -hmm. and then we have this mysterious voice. As Jesse said, the art is phenomenal. Uh, you know, the panels tell the story. But we also have this troubling, uh, you know, character who, you know, maybe drinks a little bit too much. Maybe she's a little bit lonely. So we really don't know. Is she seeing things? Is she hearing things? Uh, is, is this all in her head? But I think that's part of the magic of this series is that we are left to our own devices to basically kind of piece together what's going on in this story. One of the things I really, really like about it so far, Jesse, is, is, other yeah. than what we've talked about, is we see that she's coming out and she's making her art. But I love the fact that we are not seeing that. We're seeing her in front of the canvas, but we're not seeing, we're seeing her brush strokes, we're seeing her can of paint and, and paint cleaner and stuff like that, but we're not seeing anything. And when she's mm -hmm. talking to this spirit, he's like, oh, are you done yet? Are you done yet? 
Can we can we go and play? Can we dance? So it seems like a very jovial spirit and stuff like that, but it also seems to be pulling her away from you know what she's trying to do. But she also is saying that yeah, she's being very productive uh for it. So again, so far it it's really it's really roped me in. Um, and I gotta say, this third issue, um I don't want to use the word terrified because it wasn't that, but I really felt uh, um, it really led to some ominous uh, feelings and emotions. Uh, you see the passage of time in this issue. Yeah. Um, it, it, I think it goes, it covers Halloween to Christmas. Uh, and you really see this relationship be building between the, the two people. Um, and you, you get a really like kind of, you know, sad moment where she's talking about, oh, I used to bake cookies with grandma. And it was a big family tradition. And the spirit's like, oh, do baking cookies make you sad because she's crying while doing it? And so, so you see that they've got this, you know, kind of connection. But then it's like at that point, I'm like, well, wow, really, is this is this a person in need and, and uh, isn't getting kind of the support from real people? So I'm really feeling bad. But then the the you know, wow, I, I don't know if I want to go much more into it and in, in spoilers, but I just said the, 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 the feelings and emotions that this comic can evoke by the words, the dialogue and, 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 and the art is definitely something else. Like it's, I think the title alone, the me you love in the dark, it's like, okay, is that referring to this creature, this spirit, or is it referring to this, this character, the, the, the main character of it? So yeah, really, really love it. I think it's a very powerful, uh, it, it, it is so far. It is, and there's. I'm just gonna bring up a picture again. Like, if speaking of the art, like, look at this sequence here. There's no words whatsoever, but it it tells a story in these two panels, right? Like, lady puts on the record. She starts drawing. She starts drinking more and more, and then she's getting angry. Right? No dialogue whatsoever. And then we see how frustrated this artist actually is, and how much the artist block is affecting her she can't do right anything. on so what do you think the creature is you know there's there's definitely um there's been some hints because you know what she asks she's like oh are you a ghost and and she's and he's like i'm very old but i don't have a title um and uh you know he definitely doesn't seem like our traditional ghost because he can interact with things like he puts the the uh, record player on for her he brings her tea uh you know there are moments when they are watching videos together like it's almost like these these are you know um they're, they're, they're building a bond and stuff and most of the time when you see this person you're seeing maybe up to the neck and you get this this sense that it's a grandose figure and you rarely see the head structure. And, and I'm going to pull up that other image again, uh, and you can see it. So, again, this is all that thing's head. There's many eyes. There's many mouths. Sometimes there's tongues. But there's also half of the face that kind of looks normal. So I'm really questioning what is she seeing? Is she looking past the obvious grotesqueness of this being looking into its soul its old soul or is this being um you know in a way you know how vampires kind of mesmerize yeah. and, and 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 stuff like that maybe it's she is she is being put under a spell but it doesn't seem like that right now so i i think it's it's definitely a uh a creature that's tied to this building, this house, whether it, it's because of past event or 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 whatever, and I and I and I, I hope they get into it, but it also at the same time, like I don't know if we really really need to know what is that what it is yeah of this. I think it's all based going to be what this being, the impact it has on this uh this this girl this artist well, what about you what are your thoughts on it well as we talk about it more and more i kind of think it's the artist block i think it's all a mental illusion mm -hmm. in her in her brain right if you look at the creature what's sorry we keep bringing it up um if you look at it once more there's a whole bunch of eyes 
what does an artist do? They paint, they make art, and they always have eyes looking at it. This creature is so support. If you're reading the book, you'll realize that it's so supportive. Whatever she does, he's supportive of it. Oh, you want to make cookies? Oh, well, let's make cookies together. Why are you crying? Oh, you like to dance? Let's dance. Yes. So forth. So I think it's a mental block that she's created in her head, and she's going to this haunted house, so she doesn't seem as crazy, and she, and she can mm. pass it off as, "Hey, this is a ghost. This isn't actually me." Right? It's just something. Mm. That, could go many ways. I'm excited to see what, if anybody else has read it, what they think of it. Right? What they think of it. Yeah, no, for sure. It's, it's, it's really good. Um, it's definitely, uh, you know, while nothing horrific has happened yet, I think it's definitely uh, in the horror genre and, and suspense genre and stuff. So if you are a fan of those uh, genres or you just like a really, really good comic, uh, very well written, very well drawn. Um, again, I think you'll you you will definitely definitely dig it. Can I just add one more thing? Have you one noticed the the music notes? Or I, I I'm going to assume it's music notes or the piano keys as it's going through. Those only show up when the um, demon ghost whatever it be is around. So I'm, I'm yep. thinking that has something to play with the whole the me you love in the dark. Yeah, for sure, definitely. Definitely. So that is our comic book spotlight for the week. The Me You Love in the Dark, issue number three. Definitely, definitely check it out. Like we said, it's kind of scary, a little bit creepy. 